Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Fidu Q1S and this is probably one of the best bikes that uh, Fidu has made and is still making. Uh, the specifications are uh, not uh, so impressive and this is actually a combination between an uh, e-bike and a scooter because it's neither, it's nor a kick scooter that you stand on, it's neither an e-bike as it doesn't have uh, uh, pedals so this is mostly kind of an electric scooter but the scooter that uh, you just ride on uh, you stay on you don't uh, uh, stand on your feet like the electric kick scooters that we have today so what is so amazing about it uh, first of all the the whole frame it's made from uh, alloys so it's uh, very light it's not made from steel uh, nonetheless this has a very well built and designed frame and it has a lot of welds that uh, give it strength so this will not break in any kind of way for instance you see here so you get tubular shape but this has here a surface area and it has metal reinforcements so it has more welds and more things that hold the welds here. Same goes on the back because you have tubular frame and had welds here and welds there. Uh, here, for instance, where you have the uh, rear wish arm for the suspension, wishbone arm, you can see here it has strengthened welds. So this also has a triangular shape here. So this also gives more uh, strength here. So everything is designed to uh, make this uh, frame very solid so this frame can take a lot of abuse and we are going to t talk about that in a few moments when you get uh, the bike stock it doesn't have that huge ba bag here uh, it's just an empty space uh, because the battery and the controller are hidden here in the seat post this seat is fixed so you cannot adjust its height it's uh, not a regular seat post this is just screwed on but the seat is huge uh, it's not made for pedaling it's just made for sitting and it has foot pegs it doesn't have pedals so this is the size you get but that's compensated by the BMX uh, motorcycle style uh, handlebars and uh, even though this is super compact uh, it's also very comfortable to ride even on uh, very long roads. There are two types of uh, Q1 uh, bike series, is the normal one and the S1. The S1 means suspension, so it has rear suspension and also front suspension. There's not a lot of huge travel distance for neither of the suspension parts, but these help a lot considering that you only get 12 inch wheels. Another nice feature are the brakes you get huge 160 millimeters uh, disc brakes uh, i uh, told you that they are huge because the bike is very small and you have a lot of stopping power with uh, those the controllers are pretty forward you have here the headlight uh, switch you have an electric horn and here you have a simple battery gouge that has four leds and this is the cruise control lock button you double press this and it will uh, lock the throttle also you have here the half twist uh, accelerator and that's it because this bike doesn't have any kind of assistance because there are no pedals Another interesting thing is that uh, stock you are going to get this bike with a remote and there is no power on power off for key lock or anything so you cannot start or turn off the bike without actually using the provided remote here which is kind of weird because the keys are not really mapped uh, nice so to actually turn off the bike to turn it off you press the unlock button and now the bike is turned off you cannot start it uh, it has a kind of an alarm uh, that uh, uh, starts uh, when you use the lock button here or something like that but not all the time and you have this uh, flash here which you double press and this enables the bike back so now you can uh, ride it again but it's nice to have this it's kind of confusing if someone wants to start it and take it for a ride it's going to have a lot of problems and he's not going to be able to figure it out and without any kind of pedals you just need to push this or take it in your back and run with it so
so makes it a bit more uh, hard to steal in, uh, if you use the original controller with the built-in alarm. Also, this is aftermarket. This is a very powerful uh, horn. Uh, this is uh, kind of automotive class uh, horn, so this is very powerful. Um, but you have a built-in horn here, which is not uh, very powerful, but decent enough built into the included uh, headlamp. Uh, you don't get also you don't get any kind of tail lamp, so it also has here an aftermarket uh, tail lamp. So what's the idea with abusing it? Because I've told you about that. Well, this bike has a lot of potential. It has great geometry, has very good frame, but it's slow, 25 kilometers per hour, it's slow. Uh, this is already classed as a scooter, so it's kind of a gray area bike. So I'm going to modify this. I'm going to change the controller, uh, change the battery, and maybe even replace the motor. I'm going to do some experiments, which of course I'm going to film and document. So I want to get this bike to be running to more than 40 kilometers per hour. And we'll see if that's possible. And maybe we are going to try to achieve that with the stock motor, over volt it, overpower it, and hope it will not burn out. The motor, it's a very good brand. It's something called the Xiong Da, Xiang Da, I don't know how to spell that exactly, but they make really good motors and even though it's rated to 250 watts, 36 volts, usually this uh, motor factory uh, doesn't make a, a exact voltage motor, it has a range, so the motor should be able to work something like 250 watts to 500 watts, so it can support something like from 36 to 48 volts so we are going to try to test that to see if we can make it spin a lot more faster with a bigger battery and a beefier controller that's why i have the bag installed so the new battery and new controller are not going to fit nicely in there so they are going to sit in the bag but you have space and it will not look ugly and now it's uh, the time to ride it so I weigh about uh, 90 kilograms, my backpack today has about uh, 2 to 3 kilograms. So you can assess how the bike performs with that load. And let's hop on it. The seat is extremely comfortable because it's super large. You have a really nice position and I'm going to turn it on from the remote that I'm showing you. So I have lights here, it's working, and let's ride. So acceleration, it's pretty good, it has uh, a bit of punch. This is specific to small Titus because they have geared motors, and you can hear it. It's not the quietest uh, motor, but that's because it has internal gears that increase the torque very much and that gives you some good acceleration when starting off and it also gives you climbing power so i'm going to enable cruise control double touch this and now i'm in cruise control and i'm doing it with style the handlebar it's excellent with this uh, shape it's like riding uh, i'm going to exaggerate a harley so you get the chopper feeling <laughs> and the brakes are oh the brakes are amazing you know that fidu doesn't use high quality calipers or uh, double-sided actioning uh, brake pads they are simple actioning uh, single pad that moves touches the disc and from there uh, it pushes the disc, the disc touches the other brake pad. Well, in this case, the bike stops on the time because it has really large discs for the size of the bike. So you get uh, oversized braking power for a small bike. And I'm at top speed, 
the usual 25 kilometers per hour which we are going to solve in another video because we cannot leave this great bike being so slow just 25 kilometers per hour nonetheless uh, for daily runs for daily trips for uh, commuting going shopping this is plenty because actually this is just a small bike you don't want it to be very fast but the frame the size the shape and its strength are really some nice pros that uh, can really benefit from turning this into a small pocket rocket electric rocket and again the brakes are amazing and i need also to talk about the combination uh, of uh, tiny wheels with suspension well this is uh, really interesting because this is just uh, equipped with 12 inch wheels so they are very small so when you ride such small wheels you basically feel everything every rock every crack in the asphalt but the suspension is doing a pretty good job so for instance this bump here it's really really absorbed by the bike so it doesn't break your butt and the seat is very comfortable and you can ride this for a very long mileage in cruise control and it's super relaxing because unlike small bikes with small wheels that will make you shake all the time and when you get off you are still shaking from the road this one doesn't produce that effect and it will not make you tired because of that so pretty good idea to get the s version of this and benefit from the suspension And now we are going also to test the climbing power of the Q1S here. Uh, that's really, really steep. It doesn't show on the camera. Uh, it's not, it's something that you do not ride on the bike because it's a ramp that it's way up high. So I'm going to be standstill at the bottom of the ramp and I'm going to use only the acceleration because this doesn't have any gears and you can hear the motor. And look at that, that simply is amazing. So the motor has a lot of, lot of torque and it went up really nice. And here it's still um, a hill, not very steep, but this is still going up. So the bike has performed really well and now it's getting speed and it's getting faster and faster and it's reaching its uh, top speed. So it has really, really nice climbing power even with the stock motor, even with 36 uh, volt battery. So I really expect this to perform really, really impressive after uh, upgrading it. So now you have seen it, uh, how it rides stock, because this is kind of a two-in-one uh, review presentation, because this bike is going to be featured again on my channel very soon. So the bike performs stock really nice. It has a lot of torque for the tiny motor. Uh, it can go uphill really nice. So you can use this as a daily rider with no problems going to work, going shopping, going to school or whatever. You can take it even on uh, longer rides as long as the small wheels permit. Then another huge pro is the suspension, although the uh, travel distance for the shocks is not uh, huge. They do make a huge impact over your ride quality. Together with that huge seat, uh, you are going to ride really comfortable and relaxing. Also with the stock battery, which is uh, 10 amp hour, 36 volts, you are going to get something like over 30 kilometers range, maybe 40 kilometer range if you don't ride it uh, all the time at full power. So plenty of range to do your work uh, daily with it. Also another thing that I like is the handlebar because being raised so much makes the ride very comfortable. Uh, even though the bike is very small and you cannot adjust the seat height, you still have a very good uh, riding position and because you don't need to pedal the foot pegs are uh, placed very well 
Now uh, the foot pegs, uh, it's time for some cons. I don't like one thing, but that's related to this bike uh, geometry. The foot pegs, uh, being foot pegs, are fixed. So you need to take a lot of attention when uh, riding near curbs, because it's not like when you are riding a bike and you move the pedals and you can put the pedal that is next to the curb up, so it doesn't touch the curb. Well, with these foot pegs, you cannot do that. And if you ride very close to the sidewalk, to the curbs in traffic, you are going to probably hit it and that's not going to end up really well for you. Also, when you want to store the bike or uh, take it in your car or things like that, the handlebar will fold just like any kind of other Fidu handlebar. It has the same mechanism there and the foot pegs are removable. You can unscrew them off. So now you can put this on a side and it takes less space. The seat will not come out as it's fixed with uh, screws. So with those conclusion, it's time to end up uh, this video. Be sure to follow my next uploads about this video. And until then, see you and bye bye.